Hey guys, George of Sumer here, and today I have for you a Rome Total War online commentary. And I believe this was a 3v3. Uh, it was me, Czech Chinese American, and the guy named Zanin. I don't know if he has a channel or not, but I'll double check. And if he has a channel, I will post it in the description. But if you're familiar to my channel, you know I play a lot with Czech Chinese Americans, so. Yeah, you probably already know his channel. Anyway, I'm playing as Carthage, and um, Czech, or I'm just gonna call him Subadai. Subadai is playing as Scythia, and Xanon is playing as Pontus. And we're facing off against the Seleucids, the Julii Romans, and the SPQI Romans. So my army consists of one, two, three, three Poen infantry, two sacred bands, uh, two Spanish mercenaries, two Numidian uh, cavalry, one round shield cav, and then I got some round shield cav hiding, like three other units. And, um, Scythia, uh, shit. Never mind, I'll just play the battle. I'm just harassing with light cavalry. This battle was really long, because pretty much half of it was just me harassing with my fast-moving round shields. And as you can see, the cataphracts are already warmed up and tired from chasing my round shields. So harassing his cavalry with my round shields seemed like a good idea, because they would never be able to catch up. And uh, cataphracts get tired really easily. So if you're ever facing cataphracts and you have light cav, by all means, if you see cataphracts isolated, just make them chase you, and it'll make them nice and tired. So what if you lose that one cavalry unit? That means you will have an easier time taking down the cataphracts, and it'll be less deadly. So it's much easier. It's much better to just tire them out. So I'm just moving my army up to link up with Scythia and Pontus. On my cavalry harasses on the left flank. It's kind of funny. My Numidians are throwing javelins. I think they got a kill. Two kills. Must be really annoying. Actually, no, they got three kills. Nice. Um, looks like over here, he's setting up some companions. And Rome is setting up some Praetorian cav. And I thought it was hilarious how, like, we got this much of a response to just from moving a ton of round shields. And as you can see, they're chasing all the way over here. This one round shield unit. Same with the Praetorians, they're chasing as well. But they will never catch up. Unless they did catch up. No, they didn't. And Scythia and Pontus are moving up their cavalry as well, so it's basically a ton of light cav versus a ton of heavy, powerful cav. And I'm doing the same thing with my round shields, I'm just harassing. Like moving up and then running away every chance I get so I don't die and his guys get tired, hopefully. But they're Praetorian cavs, so they don't get tired. <laughs> so you can see, like, all the enemy cavalry is here. There's also chariots that we're facing off against. So this battle is actually somewhat boring because not much action happens till the very end. You can see I move my Numidians up to uh, throw some javelins at the cataphracts while they are turned away. And I have this round shield cavalry positioned by the woods just to harass a little bit more. Pretty soon I activate my other round shield cav and I go for like a death run over in this area to separate the cavalry from the enemy infantry forces. I'm just going to fast forward. So now Scythia is moving up a little bit. And I believe the main engagement is about to happen. Sorry, I'm just putting this on fast forward because I don't remember this battle being very, you know, action packed. At least on my end. Let's check out what's going on with Scythia. If there is some stuff going on, I'll slow down. I don't think there's stuff going on though. <laughs> They're just like archers and axemen of Scythia. Chosen Archer Warband. Great unit. La 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 la. Boring, boring, boring. And 
to, again, our cavalry is rested, so we're just going to move them around more. Let's see what's going on with this Numidian cav. I'm just running up to the forest. Uh, there's enemy hidden cavalry in this forest. So just trying to get them out and isolate them. And with the support of the Pontic Light Cav, we might be actually able to take out some enemy cav. But that does not happen. Uh, meanwhile, I should probably show you the army compositions. Whoa, our cat is just being annoying. So I told you my army composition, pretty generic. And the Scythian army composition consists of five axemen, two chosen archer warbands, some headhunting maidens, they want the Roman D, Scythian nobles, and Pontus consists of Cappadocian Cav, his general is apparently in this unit. Let's try finding him. Where is the general? The grand Cappadocian general. There he is. He's actually armored. Good job for him. And his phalanx consists of phalanx pikemen. Phalanx, phalanx, whatever you like to call it. And then bronze shields in the honor honorable position on the right. He has some archers as well. And it looks like now I'm finally moving my round shields out. Yeah, they're out of the woods. So I have these two units run up over here. We thought it'd be funny to <laughs> get some round shields into the backs of the enemy lines just to take them off. Maybe force them to engage, make some mistakes while we engage from the front. And I'll show you. Pretty soon the enemy starts to charge us, or charge my round shields, the cavalry. And I just have them sitting in the woods just to be irritating. Now this is a tactic that I want to like mess around with more. Now that I think about it, just have like one unit of a uh, waste, like light cav unit. Just force the enemy to make mistakes and isolate their power and tire them out. Speaking of light cav, I cannot wait for Rome too. because Light Cav will own it. And now he's moving up Praetorian Cav. And I can <laughs> I really gotta micro my dudes away. I was focusing on microing my calves, so I really have no clue what's going on with the infantry engagements. So I'm trying to keep an eye on both engagements. And surprisingly, I didn't lose any round shields. But they're shaken, because, you know, they have to fight Praetorians. And I think, yeah, they got charged by Praetorians a little bit. Poor round shields. See, so yeah, my dudes are just getting chased <laughs> by these Praetorian mob. Uh, excuse me. So Lucia is also moving up uh, their cavalry contingents. My voice is probably a bit retarded because... I don't know, I need some water or something. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like there's any infantry action going on. I'm just going to triple the game speed. And it looks like... I'm sending my round shields to the backs of the enemy line. It got caught a little bit, so there's only 14 men left. And never mind, it is routing. I think I was trying to go for a charge on these archers right here. That would have just been, like, the highlight of my life. <laughs> okay. It looks like Scyth the Scythia is moving up, and so is Pontus. And my mistake was not moving up my army. As you can see, the Praetorians are starting to scare away our cavalry. And the main engagement is starting to happen. These axemen are taunting. I'm guessing doing their berserk thing or whatever. And the Forester Warbands are shooting. It turns out I do have a round shield cap. I got chased the entire way here. I actually do go for a charge, I think. But the linked enemy armies are way too strong. And what's ridiculous is that these axemen routed on contact. Good job, Urbans. 
like no casualties at all. And the rest of the axemen are probably gonna do really crappily. Really uh, really crappily. So Czech is just going for a crazy cavalry charge into this one section. And finally the urbans are overpowered, so that's a really good tactic. Just overwhelming on one flank. And I sent in a round shield cav to attack the archers. But alas, they got owned. And I do not know why I'm not moving up my infantry. Probably should have. Pontus is starting to engage. And he's actually doing pretty decently. He has two phalanx pikemen per or urban. And now he's charging into the flanks. So I played really poorly this battle. Now he's going for a major flanking maneuver right here. But there are too many... There's like cataphracts, companions, praetorians, and more praetorians, so this mob is basically unbeatable. Unless you had like a gazillion Spartans just killing them, but yeah, this gigantic cavalry mob of three combined opponents do not want to mess with it. And pretty much routed all of Czech's army. Meanwhile, I'm moving up my army. It's a big mess. Pretty great. And my Spanish mercenaries are throwing missiles. I don't know at what. I'm not sure what they're throwing missiles at. Whatever. Got my Numidians and I'm trying to chase down the cataphracts and shoot them as best as I can. But yeah, at this point in the battle, it's pretty much ended. Because now there's just an imbalance. And you guys probably want to see close-ups, I'm sorry. We actually routed Praetorian cohorts, or not cohorts, Praetorian cavalry. I do not know why I make commentaries late at night. It's, it's not good for me. <laughs> and they probably aren't that great, because I don't talk well. Oh, I'm so tired. Look at that mob of Urbans and Cappadocian Cav. Your allies leader has so beautiful. Be a disappointment as he has been killed. Now there's more Phalanx Pikemen charging in. Can't believe how well they're doing. And I really should have microed better in this battle. Like if I sent up this Poen infantry up, we might have actually been able to get a surround on these Urbans. Yeah, I played terribly this battle. <laughs> I love the Spanish mercenaries, they look really cool. And they throw Piva. And they actually have decent melee stats. So there's like a mob of Seleucid cataphracts. I think he just brought a crap ton of cataphracts inside the chariots. Had like two units of Silver Shield Legionnaires. Got my Pony infantry charging up. So, actually, the battle's up for grabs at this point, but I was microwing really badly, as you can see. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Like, I had Sacred Band, I could've used them. But I did not, sadly. Check out this unit. It's a crazy fight. All the cataphracts charging in. Will they catch my pikes? Oh, they got my pikes. And my guys are still uh, frightened. And now they're getting raped. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I should have used my sacred band more. Now they're just getting peeled to the face. It's so fun. What a waste of Pila. Oh well, they're urban cohorts. They don't need to worry. Enemy general has been killed. Now we will see the measure of his soldiers' courage. Okay, my sacred bands were OP in this battle. So my mistakes were not engaging my sacred bands earlier at critical moments, like when the urbans could have been easily surrounded. I don't know what the hell I was doing. 
Yeah, my opponent and either pussies, they route easily. So I'm gonna fast forward. Enemy general shows his value. He is filled only by a desire to save his own skin. See my poenies actually fighting an urban. It's rather cool. Your general has sacrificed. And my general died. They are worthy only of a coward's death. So yeah, uh, there's lots of archers, and I think that pretty much changed the tide of the battle. So many enemy archers just pouring fire in. I charge my Numidians in, but Numidians aren't that great at melee. Especially not against that mob of archers. The enemy has stopped. So good game to my opponents. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you next time.